Hey everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be going over the newest Parfums de Marly release. It is the new feminine launch uh, for 2021 and that is Oriana. This is the packaging for Oriana. It's this very beautiful sort of like fuchsia pink color. I really do love the packaging. Once I saw the reveal of the packaging, I knew I had to have this fragrance. Just for the aesthetics alone, I was like, oh my gosh, like the bottle is so beautiful. It is your classic Parfums de Marly bottle. It's got the beautiful heavy cap with the little crystal on top. And yes, the crystal is the same color as the bottle. It's got the little tassels and everything. Um, it is a 2.5 fluid ounce. It retails for $3.20 um, on the Parfums de Marly site. I got mine on Saks. Um, and yeah, we're gonna get into it and on my thoughts on this fragrance. So this fragrance, has notes of mandarin orange, you've got bergamot, you've got grapefruit, orange blossom, you have raspberry, black currant, you also have beautiful notes of marshmallow, whipped cream, musk, and amberette. And when I tell you that I was super excited to get my hands on this one, I am telling you, I was super excited. Like, I immediately bought it when it became available on the Saks website. I bought it last week, I've had a few days to play with it, and I had some serious thoughts. Just right out of the box, as soon as I sprayed it, um, I was immediately hit with, I've smelt this before and I already knew exactly what it was. And for me personally, um, I don't really like it when a fragrance, like I smell a fragrance, and it immediately reminds me of another fragrance in my collection. Um, this one sort of did that and I was kind of bummed. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit more original, something I didn't already have. Unfortunately, at least for me and my nose, this is extremely similar to something else I already own. And what this reminds me of is Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. I have the old school version back when they still sold it in the black bottle. I have a much older bottle. Um, I had two of these. I broke one by accident. They were both older, um formulations that were in the black bottle. Um, I tried to sell one at one point and I ended up breaking it by accident. <laughs> and I only have one. And I don't know about the current formulation of Love Don't Be Shy. I don't know if they've changed it. I haven't gotten my nose on the newest version, but it's extremely close to the version I have. But it's not identical, but it almost smells like if Love Don't Be Shy had a baby with Killian's Princess. A combination of these two together is what Oriana sort of gives me. Now with Oriana, when I first spray it, you get a huge burst of citrus, which you don't get in the Love Don't Be Shy. You get this huge burst of citrus. I can smell that grapefruit and the bergamot in the forefront. As it starts drying down, the mandarin starts to become a bit more prominent, and that's primarily the citrus I get from all of this is the mandarin orange. I think the mandarin orange really complements the orange blossom beautifully. This is an orange blossom heavy fragrance. The orange blossom is bam in your face the same way that it is in Killian um, Love Don't Be Shy. The biggest difference from Killian's Love Don't Be Shy is there isn't as much citrus um, in Killian's Love Don't Be Shy as there is in this. This is a citrus bomb, especially in the opening. I get all that citrus it's really bright it's really beautiful i think it meshes really beautifully with the marshmallow whipped cream note that's in this um which is why it reminds me of killian's princess the opening is this vanillic sort of marshmallowy bright um sort of bergamot sort of scent that dries down into a more vanillic fragrance um there's a lot of similarities between those two and this i feel like if those two had a baby it would be oriana Honestly, it's not a bad fragrance. I do enjoy it. The further it dries down, um, I did notice that I be I was able to pick up more on the raspberry note. Um, it wasn't until like a few, quite a few hours later that I started smelling something else in the air while I was at work and I was confused. I thought it was someone else um, wearing a fragrance and it was actually me. I almost smelled this sort of rosy effect. And I find that with raspberry a lot of the time in fragrances it can give off a sort of rosy effect at least to my nose raspberry can sometimes come off as sort of rose like and i found that to be true in this one it almost gives a sort of 
rosy effect to the fragrance in the deep dry down. Granted, I didn't pick this up until about the fourth hour or so. I thought it was really beautiful, but very faint. Now the projection on this one is not great for the price. Um, it's a lot softer. I feel like this fragrance would be a great intimate setting scent. Um, if you're gonna go on a date night, if you're gonna have a cuddle session, if you're gonna be really close to someone and they're gonna be able to smell you. I felt like this one didn't really project too, too far. Maybe for the first couple hours it projected maybe half an arm's length away. Um, the projection just really isn't there. And Love Don't Be Shy, it's pretty... The projection is there in Love Don't Be Shy. This one's a lot softer. It's almost, um, I wouldn't say exactly a skin scent, but it is skin scent like, and it does become a skin scent rather quickly um, after application. This is one that you're gonna have to reapply, in my opinion. Um, I felt like for the first two or so hours, the projection was decent. It wasn't like great or ginormous and it wasn't going to fill a room. Um, but it was definitely still there. But after about the third hour or so, I started noticing it started becoming a bit more skin scent like. And then by like the fifth, sixth, or the fifth and sixth hour, it was basically a skin scent. Like it was, you have to be really close in order to smell it on me. Um, I feel like it does linger on clothes a bit longer. Um, it's not about a fragrance, you guys. It's just, if you're hearing like a ton of animals in the background, I'm so sorry. My cats and my dogs are deciding to be super loud all of a sudden and they're all downstairs eating. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, like, it's not a bad fragrance. Is it my favorite? No. Um, am I a little disappointed? Yeah, kind of. I was kind of hoping to have something a little bit more original, something different. Um, it is a beautiful fragrance. It is a very feminine. Um, I find that in Love Don't Be Shy, it can be a bit cloying for some people because it is a lot more sugary sweet. It is very heavy on the vanilla and the sugar sort of um, note that it has that this one doesn't really have in it. So if you were turned off by Love Don't Be Shy and how sweet it is, then this one might be a really good one for you. If you enjoy fragrances like Princess from Killian and Love Don't Be Shy and you want some variation in your collection, then this one would be a great addition to add into your collection. If you're tired of redundancy and you really don't need all these fragrances that are like in that same fragrance line and you like to, you know, have things that are different than new, then this one might not be for you, especially if you own uh, Princess or if you own Love Don't Be Shy. This one might be a little bit too redundant to your collection and you might want to save your coin. Also, like I said, the projection isn't really there. You're gonna have maybe two to three hours worth of wear and then it's gonna feel like you need to reapply. Um, this will linger on clothes a bit longer. But aside from that, you guys, like, it's not much of a performer. I find a lot of the other fragrances in the Parfums de Marly um, feminine line tend to be a bit more better at projection and just longevity, um, even with, um, the clear one shoot i don't know why i'm blanking so hard but the one that comes in the clear bottle not safanade but the other one um meliora i feel like she projects and you know is a lot better than this fragrance i feel like this is probably the weakest one out of the entire feminine line which is kind of a bummer because with packaging this beautiful and like uh, you would hope and expect it to be just like killer amazing and just this projecting bomb the next you know big thing since delina but this really didn't deliver it for me um happy i tried it happy i have it in my collection but kind of bummed that it's nothing new but like i said i'll still keep it in my collection i'm still happy i got to try it and talk about it to you guys but if you were thinking of looking into this fragrance just keep in mind that this is very similar to Love Don't Be Shy. It's not identical, like I said, because this one has all that citrus in it. And as it dries down, it becomes slightly powdery, almost like a slightly powdery candy. Um, but it's really orange blossom heavy and very vanillic and marshmallowy, um, just like Love Don't Be Shy and just like Killian's Princess. 
So if that's something you don't want in your collection, then definitely save your coin. If you love those fragrances or maybe you don't have them, but this sounds like it might be right up your alley, then definitely check this one out. Like I said, it's not a horrible fragrance by any means. When you pay for Parfums de Marly, you are getting quality and that's what you get with this fragrance. It is quality, it is a beautiful fragrance. It just wasn't what I was expecting and I don't know. It's a little redundant, at least for my collection. I feel like this DNA is kind of, it's been done a lot now and I kind of wanted something different and I didn't get that. It was unfortunate, but hopefully the next launch will be a bit better. But like I said, not a bad fragrance. If you want something that's a little musky, just a tad bit powdery, very sweet and bright, then I think this one's going to be a really good one for you guys. I think this one will be really nice for the fall, honestly. Um, springtime, fall time. You could probably get away with this one in summertime too because it's not that cloying because of all the citrus that's in this. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on um, Oriana. If you guys have tried it, um, let me know what you guys think. Um, like I said, I'm a little disappointed, at least for me, but honestly, I'm glad I got to try it. I love the bottle and this aesthetic. Honestly, I hope that for their next feminine launch, they launch something a little bit more unique, a little bit more different, something that we haven't really had before. I would love a fall time fragrance, maybe in like a darker orange bottle. I love the color orange. Um, that's more reminiscent of fall. There goes the animals again. I am so sorry, you guys. Till next time, I will catch you guys later. Bye.